Hi guys, welcome back to Little Willie's Welder Repair. Basically, this welder, the wire feed, I think the gearbox has gone inside the uh, module, whatever it is. So when you try to feed the wire through with pulling the trigger, it's either the motor or the gears, I would say. So, we're taking this to bits, having a look inside and seeing if we can fix it. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Right then, let's see what's wrong with our Sealy power welder. Let's see if we can pull this wire back without it. Nope. We're going to have to cut it. If you have to cut this wire, do not let it go because it will just all unravel and it'll be a nightmare trying to get it back. Just try and stick it in the hole there. And hopefully it won't unwind. So the first thing to break on my Sealy welder was the adjuster knob for the tightness on the wire. Should be like a knob there what you twist and then you can lift it up and this thing opens but mine just snapped within two weeks so I've had to put a zip tie around it if you can see that we'll get that out of the way I'll try and show you a bit more I think that actually pushes onto the wire and that's should have had an adjusting knob on it but it just snapped out because Sealy uh, tools are quite strong as we all know anyway so we've got that off if we twist this it should come off This is the uh, motor part, which is all crunching. This is like the flywheel what goes on it, it's got two settings, one for 6mm wire and one for 8mm wire. Let's put that to one side. Here's our screwdriver. Let's get our screwdriver and start taking things to bits. These four bolts, four bolts, these four screws are to hold this thing in place. Uh, these are just to hold the uh, top plate. This is to hold all this mechanism and so on and so on. I'll just take these two fixing bolts out first. Bolts, screws. And if we undo these two, we'll need a different screwdriver. That cap should just come off. Try and leave the screws in there so you know where they go. Now the wire pulls through. Let's pull the wire all the way back out. Make sure you've got eye protection on because you don't want that sticking in your eye. I really sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? Have I ever took this off before? No. So let's get this mechanism off. Try and keep them screws in there so you know where to go. Try not to lose that little bit. And 
this should come off. Doesn't look like it's going to, does it? I think we might have to take this side panel off. Complete that through. So they go through there, do they? Let's undo the last screw now we can see what we're looking at. Keep the screw in it again so you know where it goes. Will this crack open? Hopefully it will. Ooh. Yep, already I think I can see the problem. See they're running nicely. But this one. I don't know if you can see that. All the teeth are missing. It should look like that, but not like that. As you can see all the teeth are missing on that one. So, looks like eBay, here we come. Okay, so basically, I've been on eBay, I've been there everywhere on the internet. Just trying to see if I can find any cogs like these. And I can't find none, so I bit the bullet. Got this on eBay. An old new unit. I'm going to have to solder the wires on. Uh, that's not the only problem. It says when I bought it in the listing. Very easy to fit. Okay. Well, basically, this has all got to go through there. And then all the way down back to the welder. So, I've taken all this to bits and basically this is all attached and you can't, you wouldn't get it to feed through there anyway. I sort of feed it through that hole and all the way up through this hole. You see what I'm doing? Like that basically. It's supposed to be all fed through there. So the only other option I've got is to hopefully these two wires are just plugged onto something. Otherwise we're in a bit of trouble. Easy to fix. So let's get this side thing off. Two, four, six, eight screws. This 
there's one black wire coming through goes through to goes straight into the coil and I'm not going to be able to remove that am I no way so I think there's only one way I'm going to be able to do this Let's try by taking this one off it's cutting the groove through God. A bit drastic I know but uh, what else can you do? Yes I'm sort of going to have to cut it out in two places. that piece off and that's what I'm going to have to do to my brand new piece this piece I'll cut on the side there and hopefully we can do it with one cut So at least it's marked the red wire goes there and the black wire goes there I suppose. And we're gonna have to cut these off and solder them on. Oh dear. Twisty thing I was on about. Mine just snapped out there. Doesn't look very strong, does it at all? So if you've got a sealy welder, be very gentle with it. So let's take the top off this one. saw through it. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, let's just saw through it. This did cost £22 by the way. <clears throat> 22 British pounds. And I've actually got to saw with my hacksaw through the plastic. Otherwise there's no way I could possibly fit it. I think it's best to saw it because it's two layers on this layer just saw as close to there as we can and then when we saw this bit it goes straight through and straight through just have to cut a notch out anyway there goes nothing the wire through on that one alright but this one be nice to make another groove and that's the only way we're going to feed this big wire back through I suppose I'll just have to Try and super glue that back on with some super glue. Okay, so now it's time to solder our wires on. Let's start with the red one first. Put a bit of solder on the terminal first. And then we can try to attach the wire. Uh, 
Ay, kusulo. Got it. There we have it. So now we've just got to try and get these wires into this. Super glue our bits back on. With the super glue tap is impossible to undo. You just put your pliers on it. This is where you get your fingers stuck to everything. Let's stick that into place. Let it dry for a few seconds. Then we can do the other bit. And just leave that to dry. Okay, well that's drying for a bit. Uh, since this was new, I think that's about the third, or maybe the fourth. I think it's the third, but let's say it's the fourth the fourth spool of wire I've put onto this because the other ones have ran out so I've replaced it three or four times I think it's three times so just remember if you've got a Sealy you've got a Sealy power welder 100 quid or 80 quid or whatever it was when you've used three or four spools up you're going to have to buy a brand new wire feed gearbox unit 20 odd quid and you're going to have to go through all this to fit it and then you're going to use another three more spools of wire and then you're going to have to buy another wire feed unit yeah lovely Anyway, I think that's stuck enough by now. Let's try and get that back in there. Put this back through there. Push those two down inside there, I think. bloody things out. Let's try and get this top bit on. That's it. And the two main screws for the body. So let's plug this baby back in and switch it on. Okay, let's switch it on. Got a little spider. See what happens. Oh! Well, that sounds as smooth as shit. Very nice. Switch it off, unplug it and get the side back on. Put all the screws back up. And all we have to do now is tighten all the screws back up and then 
try and feed the water through to the gun. So there we go. Oh. Now let's try and feed our wire through. Get rid of the bent bit. Trigger. Let's take the tip out. Get me through. Ooh. The kettle back on. Perhaps now we can get back to our welding. So let's test it before we say it's actually fixed. Let me get things ready. So let's see if the pudding's got any proof. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. I'm so sorry. I love you. I love you too. I, I don't know where I am, but... I'll find you, Des. I promise. No matter what. I'll come back to you. I won't give up. I promise. I promise. I, I love, love you. you. I see you in another life, brother.